farmer managed to capture a mysterious creature, and when he looked closer, he couldn't believe his eyes. There are many unexplained things in the world which people stumble across every now and then, but for one farmer, he couldn't believe his eyes when he came across a mysterious creature. When he looked closer at his discovery though, he became even more stunned as he finally realized what it was he was looking at. Ali Bulat Rasulov was a Russian farmer who worked his land in the country's Stavropol region. He had been a farmer for most of his life and he enjoyed his work greatly. The man's job was rather mundane as he worked on his fields to make sure that all of his crops were growing correctly and looked after the livestock that he owned. His day-to-day -day life and routine were fairly normal until one day he came across something that shocked him. Ali Bulat's day had started off like any other. He had woken up with the sun to start on his daily chores on the farm. It had been a particularly wet few days and so the farmer decided to check on his crops to make sure that they were still growing and that they hadn't been flooded out. It was whilst he was checking on his crops that the farmer came across a very unusual and rare phenomenon. It was while Ali Bulat was walking through his wheat field that he came across a strange creature. At first, the man wasn't sure what to make of it. The object was in the shape of a large black ball, but the thing that concerned the man the most was that it appeared to be moving. Wanting to know what the creature was, Ali Bulat crept closer, but he was astounded at what he saw. There on the ground in front of him was something that he had only ever heard about in folk stories and in old tales from his parents and grandparents. There, right in front of him, was a rat king. But what is a rat king? It is a rare phenomenon that occurs when the tails of multiple rodents become entangled. They get so tied up that even an adult human, let alone a creature without opposable thumbs and an advanced brain, would have trouble detangling them. Rat kings have been reported numerous times since the mid-16th century, but scientists have yet to properly understand how and why it occurs, or even if it is a natural phenomenon or just a man-made hoax. The one that Ali Bulat discovered was made up of five field rats, who were all a bit wet due to being caught in the flood. Amazed at what he had found, the farmer started recording his discovery, filming the animals as they tried to pull apart from one another. The very existence of the Rat King phenomenon has been called into question several times, as no example of live rats becoming entangled in this way have ever been reported in modern times, leading some to believe that it is nothing but a man-made hoax. Ali Bulat's discovery was one of the very first times that one of these occurrences was caught on camera. However, despite scientists being quite skeptical of this event, a very similar phenomenon had been observed in other long-tailed rodents, like squirrels, some of which have even been caught on camera. Science has yet to explain how those occur as well. Several theories to explain the Red King phenomenon have been made over the centuries, with some being completely bonkers and others being only barely plausible. One of the most widely accepted theories, though, focuses on black field rats, like the ones that the farmer found. These animals have very long tails and live together in tight quarters. During the winter, the tails may come in contact with a sticky or frozen substance such as sap or urine. This then causes the tails to become glued together, and the rats then get even more entangled as they try to break free and pull in opposite directions. Eventually, the small rodents are forced to live together as one as they have no way to separate their tails, which really does not look comfortable or practical. The earliest report of a Rat King being discovered came from 1564. However, scientists believe that there may have been cases before then, but that they simply had not been recorded onto paper. A lot of the time, during the earlier centuries, people would view the Rat Kings as a bad omen of some sort. Many believe that they signaled death or that something terrible would happen should one be found. A lot of specimens of supposed Rat Kings are kept in some museums. The Morutiana Museum in Altenburg, Germany, shows the largest well-known mummified rat king, which was made up of 32 rats. It was found in 1828 in a Miller's fireplace at Buckheim, Germany. However, rats aren't the only animals to get their tails tangled up together, as a man discovered in Maine, in America, back in 2017. The Good Samaritan, a man named Andrew Day, had decided to go and visit his parents one day, when, as he was walking to their home, he noticed a strange shape on the floor nearby. Curious as to what the object was, Andrew approached it, only to be shocked when he discovered four small squirrels with their tails tangled together. As well as the furry creatures on the floor, 
The man also noticed a cat nearby who was possibly getting ready to have an easy lunch. So we got the cat away, Andrew told a local newspaper, and we got the squirrels sort of collectively as a creepy squirrel pinwheel by a tree. However, it was no easy task as the squirrels were constantly trying to pull and run off in different directions. It was like a giant dreadlock, Andrew told the local newspaper. Intertwined with it were straw and twigs, and there was some plastic. These added materials only made it worse for the squirrels, though. Once the strange phenomenon was in a more secure place, Andrew tried calling the local animal control center to see if they would be able to come and help the poor animals. However, because it was a Sunday, there was no one available to help out. After that, Andrew tried calling the local police as well as a local game warden. However, no one was able or willing to come and help the man and the poor squirrels. Maybe they thought that the man was pulling a prank on them. Not wanting to let the animals suffer, Andrew decided to take matters into his own hands. He managed to trap the squirrels in a cardboard box so that they weren't able to move around too much and get their tails even more tangled up. The man then delicately worked to free them. Eventually, each squirrel became detached. Once the game warden eventually arrived, they were released to reunite with the mother squirrel. The fact that there have been recorded sightings of squirrel kings has only led scientists to start to accept the idea that rat kings may be a natural phenomenon that actually occurs in real life. As for the rat king that Alibulat discovered, the kind-hearted man couldn't bear to let the animal suffer, so he carefully picked the rats up and put them on the side of the field that he had found them in. The man then used his camera to show just how tangled the poor creatures had become. Thankfully, Alibulat knew exactly what to do to help. The man started to gently pick the rats up one by one and move them over each other. By doing this, he was able to start untangling the tails to the point where one of the rats was able to break free. With the one rodent gone, untangling the rest became a lot easier. It wasn't long before all five of them had escaped from their sticky situation and were free to do as they pleased again. Once they were free though, the creatures seemed to be quite exhausted as they didn't run off the second that they had the chance. Instead, Alibulat filmed the rats sitting and taking a moment to breathe. Finally, once they were all well rested and ready to go, the kind-hearted man set the animals free in the hopes that they wouldn't find themselves in another tricky situation. What an incredible story! Let me know what you thought of it in the comments below. And if you want to keep up to date with all new incredible stories, simply go and hit those like and subscribe buttons just underneath this video. And if you can't wait, simply head on over to my channel to find more amazing stories.